and I thought it was great. Um, nice change of pace for sure. Uh, so this morning we're going to do uh, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. And for some of the things that are, um, you know, half and half, like, or, or one side at a time, I'll call the halfway point. And so we've got a squat and shoulder press. So that's going to be just um, like a goblet squat, except instead of holding that weight here, you're going to hold it off to one side. So we squat down and then press overhead. Uh, so we'll do that for 20 seconds, one side, 20 seconds, the other side. Cross body mountain climber, that's just in that push-up position. You're bringing your knee across your body to tap your um, opposite elbow. The floor pre press with a glute bridge. So laying back on the floor, press your hips up. And then we're using a weight to, to press up. Um, I think if all you have is a band, that might work out okay too. You just put the band behind your shoulder blades and then you can press one side and then press the other to give that a shot if you don't have the, a weight that you like. Supinated band row. For that one, you're gonna need a band, obviously, or you can use a dumbbell and you can switch halfway. But if you step on the band, just step on both loops and then you can pull it up between your feet so you'll be pulling both parts of the band. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I'll, I'll be demonstrating that as we get closer to it. Uh, and those are our five exercises. We're going to go four times through the circuit, four times through the circuit. Um, and yeah, so it should take us be 20 minutes worth of work and uh, we'll get about a 15 minute warm up here. So, all right. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead and start with the rollers. Okay. We'll go ahead and grab a spot on the floor. Let's start by rolling the front of your shin today. So you're going to put the front of your shin on the roller. Yes. Okay. So, all right, everybody's muted. So if you're shouting at me, I can't hear you. Again, roll in front of your shins. Um, as we're doing this, if you're a little more advanced, we're thinking, yes, you're rolling kind of the front outside of your shin, but at the same time, I want to start putting pressure down the roller this way. So as I'm rolling, I'm also kind of working my way down the roller. What you're doing there is pulling the tissue away from your shin bone and just kind of letting that group of muscles sort of roll over each other and uh, get nice and loose in there. Switch to the other side if you haven't yet. All right, just staying on the front. We'll go down to your elbows. We'll roll your thighs here. Roll to the side just to get up onto your hip flexor. Take this time to kind of roll down the outside of your legs also from your knee all the way up to your hip bone. Do the other side if you haven't yet. If you're jumping on a little bit late, uh, you'll need a band and a weight that you can shoulder press today. Okay. Good. Let's go ahead and roll it over. Or sorry, lay on your side. We're gonna roll the inside of your thigh while we're there. So then you pop that knee up on top of the roller, and we're moving back and forth. Just leave your body weight on the floor. Switch to the other side. And good, let's go ahead and sit on top of the roller.
sitting on top of the roller, cross your ankle over if needed. So Cole, why don't you demonstrate that? There you go. Whatever leg is crossed over, you're gonna be rolling on that cheek. And let's go ahead and switch to the other cheek if you haven't already. And good. All right, take the roller to just below your shoulder blades. We're gonna just kind of give uh, your shoulder blades a once over. So you're rolling right down your back. Then we're gonna do one more with the shoulders in light of last night's uh, yoga class. And good, okay. So the, the last one we're gonna do with the shoulders here, um, thankfully everybody's at home because this one can get a little bit awkward. Um, so you're gonna lay on your belly. So if I'm laying on my belly right now, we're gonna put the roller kind of right here by your pec. So if you like take your thumb and you grab this stuff right here, okay, we're gonna be rolling this stuff that's on the front of your shoulder. The rollers that work best are these little ones that have the rounded edge, uh, the rounded end on it. So you can kind of just plug that in right there. And then you're just gonna leave yourself there and move your move your arm around. Yeah, so you want to make sure that the roller is on your chest, not your arm. Yeah, there you go. All right, so this one might be a tough one to do at home if you have a roller that's big on the end like this. But you're going to kind of think about uh, pinning one spot, and then you're going to take your shoulder through that range of motion to get all of that stuff loosened up and mobilized in there. Yeah. yeah, it can be a little bit awkward. If you have any questions, shout it out um, where you're supposed to be feeling it or whatever. We don't want this to push like you have a bump on the front of your shoulder right here. So we don't necessarily want it to press on that bump that it's actually a bone that points straight out forward. Um, so we don't want it to be on that bump. We want it to be below that in like this stuff. Okay, the stuff that you can hook your thumb under. All right, so if that means it's got to be like whatever works for you here, like if you can be, if it can be sideways, it can be forward, whatever it might be. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and stand up. To go along with that, we're going to do a chest stretch. So find some kind of vertical surface, something you can put your hand on. All right, so we're going to step, uh, put your hand on the wall or whatever it is, then you're going to step forward with whatever arm you're stretching. So right now my left hand is on the wall, I'm going to step forward with my left foot. Keep your tailbone tucked under so we don't arch into this stretch. And we're just working our way into a shoulder or into a chest stretch here. It should be stretching out across the front of this. I think uh, yeah, it's kind of the nature of the, the home workout. Um, you end up doing a lot of push-ups and Call it like the frat guy syndrome where too much, too many bench press and, and uh, push ups you end up really tight in your chest. Sorry if anybody's a frat guy, I wasn't. Um, okay, so we're gonna stick with the same arm, bend your elbow now to 90 degrees, and now same stretch just with the bent elbow. So now we're gonna be stretching more rotator cuff. Remember, we're keeping your tailbone tucked down. And let's switch sides. So straight arm first. Remember, whatever side you're stretching is going to step forward. Okay. 
And let's bend your elbow. And good. Okay, let's take a step forward with one foot. So whatever foot is forward, um, you're going to raise the opposite arm. So if your left is forward, you're gonna raise that opposite arm. Just looking for a stretch down the back line here. So we're going to get a hip flexor stretch. Um, let's actually reach up and over today. So if you're, you know, if you think about your midline, you're going to reach up and over your midline. So we get that nice long stretch down this side. Really focusing on keeping, again, keeping your tailbone down, tucked under you, so that you can get a good hip flexor stretch down this side. Let's go ahead and switch. This is a great one to do if you uh, are taking like work breaks, if you're sitting at a desk as you're working from home. Uh, this is a good stretch to do as a work break, as you're really kind of lengthening out this side uh, and getting a little less flexion in your back and in your hips. And good. All right, let's go hands to the floor. We're just going to do uh, a hamstring stretch here so it'll look like downward facing dog. So we're just pushing your tailbone up towards the ceiling, dropping your heels down towards the ground. I'm not too worried about all the yoga stuff with this. All I need is a hamstring stretch and a calf stretch while you drop your heels. Just working yourself into that hamstring stretch. Let your heels drop as much as you can. From here, we're gonna bring one foot forward, keeping your back knee off the ground. And we'll push everything into the ground here. Whatever foot is forward, you're gonna take that, the hand that's closest to it. We're gonna turn up towards the ceiling, so we're gonna rotate here. Let's do six times. Oh, we got the wrong hand. There you go. So rotate, stack those shoulders up on top of each other. And good. Let's go to the other side. So bring that foot up next to your hand. Your knee should be outside your armpit here. Getting a good stretch here. And we'll work into the rotation. Stack your shoulders right up on top of each other. And good, last stretch from this push-up position. We're gonna bring the foot forward and across your body for a pigeon stretch. And we'll switch it up. And good. All right, um, let's go ahead and stand. We're going to go. Reverse lunges, just alternating reverse lunges. Let's do six each side. Nice and slow, just feeling it out. Kind of figuring out where you are this morning, see if you feel strong. See if it's a day you feel a little bit creaky. I think after, uh, personally after yesterday's kind of recovery, two recovery circuits, one in the morning, and then the yoga class in the evening, feel pretty good this morning. 
So feel it out. We're just doing six each side, working your way lower and lower into that range of motion. And we're gonna do the same with lateral lunges. So we step out to the side and then step out to the other side. So we're just alternating these. Carol, Steve, Don, good morning. Nice to see you guys. Nice Friday morning. This is gonna be a good circuit here. Oh, I'll put it back in the chat again. Okay, so we are ready to rock here. Again, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. I'll remind you as we go through, I think the only thing, well, yeah, you guys will all be good. I'll just give a brief explanation before we go through. So we're gonna go through it four times, four times five exercises, that's 20 minutes. And um, there, we aren't gonna take a break when we go to the, back to the top of the order, okay? So it will literally be a, a straight 20 minutes here, okay? All right, so starting with a squat and shoulder press, so that's two feet on the ground. You're gonna be holding weight here on your shoulder. Squat down, press up. Squat down, press up. Um, that will, I'll call the halfway point. So we'll switch at 20 seconds, okay? And I'll call the halfway point for anything that needs to switch. All right? So let's have your weight ready. Have a band nearby that you can row. All right, are we ready? Set. And are you ready? Step in. Ready? And go. Squat. Sure you squat. Guys, make sure there's a squat with the squat and press. Halfway? Almost. There's some transition time here. And relax. Okay, good. Cross body mountain climber. Um, I can thank Kelly for coming up with a better name for that. Uh, so we're just in that push up position. Knee is going to come forward and tap your opposite elbow. Okay, here we go. We'll go 40 seconds. Go through these at your pace, halfway there. Ten seconds. And time. Stay on the floor for a floor press. Use that. Yep, so we're doing a floor press on the floor. It's like a bench press, but you're laying on the floor. You're gonna push your hips up for a glute bridge. And here we go. I'll call out the halfway point. Switch halfway. You don't have a weight that works for you here. You can always flip over and turn these into push ups. Five seconds left. 
and time. Good. Last one is the row. Oh no, sorry, side bridge hinge. So you're gonna be on the floor, pushing your hips back, and 40 seconds, go. So we put, come up to the side bridge position. This top leg is just gonna float. Push your hips back and forward, back and forward. So it looks like I'm going straight up and down just because of the angle, but really I'm trying to push my hips back off of the mat, pushing back and forward. And switch sides. So you're in that side bridge from the knee. Pushing your hips back and forward. So you should start to feel this definitely in the outside of your cheek, outside of your hip. And rest. All right, so now we've got the band row. And if you've got a big loop, you can just put your feet in the loop, stretch it out, and then you pull the middle. This one has handles, so I'm gonna step on it like this. Most important thing here is uh, palms forward. Ready? And here we go. So your, your palms are gonna face forward as you do this. Halfway. As an alternative to uh, standing, you can also sit. And good. Okay. Uh, so the sneaky part of that one is if you're standing, you know, you're really gonna be using your hips to, to stabilize. So you wanna have this good strong position here as you pull. If you don't feel like you get that, we can do this seated version. All right, squat and press, here we go. Should look just like a goblet squat. And you press at the end. Come on, dude. So nice and deep, just like a goblet squat, press at the end. Half, switch sides. Time. Okay, cross body mountain climber. Bring your knee to your opposite elbow. Three seconds, two, one, here we go. So your hips will turn and rotate here, halfway. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, relax. Staying on the floor for the uh, floor press. Then we're staying on the floor one more time for the for the uh, side bridge. Five seconds. Remember, we're pushing our hips up with this also. Ready, go. Halfway switch.
and time. Side bridge is next. Ready, here we go. And switch, rolling over to the other side. Three, two, one, and relax. Rows are next. Uh, so remember if you're having trouble like getting that good solid set or position with your hips, we'll do this one seated. Um, and then it's just about turning your palms forward. So it's an underhand grip, ready, go. Think about pulling the back of your elbows up to the ceiling. It's not so much about bringing your hands into you, it's about pulling your hands. Oh, what Five seconds left. Three, two, one, relax. All right, we're halfway through, guys. Back up to the top, squat and press. Ready, go. Wait, Oops, sorry, never mind. Just kidding. <laughs> Forget it. Ignore me. Ready, and here we go. Nope, three seconds. Now half halfway. halfway. Five seconds left. Time. Cross body mountain climber, holding that push up position. And here we go. Good job guys, 10 seconds left. So this one's less about speed, more about really reaching, trying to get that knee to your elbow. Three seconds, two, one, and relax. Good job. All right, lay it on your back for the floor press. Three, two, one, here we go. Switch halfway. Five, four, three, 
and time. Side bridge is next. Five, four, three, and here we go. Remember pushing your hips back and coming up forward. If you need an assist with this one, you can just let your legs stack up on top of each other so the top leg won't float. Uh, but the hinge part of the side bridge hinge is uh, the hinging of your hips. And time, let's switch sides. And time. Okay, row is next. Three seconds, two, one. Just a reminder, palms are forward here. Switch. Ten seconds left. Remember, sitting nice and strong through your hips. Time. Okay. Last time through here. Five minutes of work left, really about four minutes of work left. The last minute is rest. All right, squat and press, here we go. Nice deep goblet squat, pressing up overhead. Halfway. And time. Push up position is next. If you feel like you're losing form, really focus most on the push up position. Staying nice and strong through your midsection. And here we go. Trying to make sure that your hands are under your chest not forward under your forehead. Time, or sorry, nope, 20 <laughs> seconds left. I've been halfway. Five. And time. Okay. Let's get hard. More press with the blue bridge. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Halfway, switch sides. Oh. 
time. Blue Bridge is next. Three, two, one, and here we go. Pushing those hips back and forward. Forward at the top should be in a perfect side plank. Take a second to check it if you need to. Switch sides. Five seconds. Time. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we get to rest. All right, supinated band row. So palms forward one last time. Ready, go. Yes, I've been forgetting to kind of call out halfway. So I'll call half, halfway here if anybody needs to switch hands. Sorry about that. Halfway. Ten seconds left. Two, one, and relax. We're good this time. Okay. Uh, good job, everybody. If you gotta go, you gotta go. I've got everybody's names. But uh, really like the way these are going. So you guys keep it up. I, I'm seeing a lot of you guys over and over again. And I know the, the crowds are the same and bigger at the 530. So um, congrats to you guys for keeping a good schedule and uh, maintaining this through everything else that's going on. So uh, lots of credit to you. If you got to go, you got to go. If you'd like to take a minute to sit and catch your breath, we're just going to lay on your back. We'll go palms to the ceiling. We're just going to take one minute to take some deep breaths. We're going to try to get only six breaths in during that time. So that's about five seconds in, five seconds out. Okay. All right. So we're just laying on our back. Arms will be straight, palms face the ceiling. Or if it helps you to have a hand on your chest and belly. That works too. So as you take your breaths in, you should feel your belly rising up towards the ceiling, not your chest. All right, so let's take one minute, five seconds in, five seconds out. Thirty seconds in, we should be three breaths in. Whenever you're trying to fill your belly up with air, either working on the count of seconds or the heartbeat. And good. So that's a full minute. So you'll be really consciously bringing your heart rate down here. Take an extra second. With your brain, whatever, whatever technique you use, whether it's really controlling your breath, 
We're focusing in on the heartbeat, try to lower that heartbeat, feel it recover, feel it come down. And good, we'll go ahead and sit up. So we just take 30 seconds here. The reason we stop halfway is, uh, is sometimes if your heart rate is really high and you've just been lying on your back, you can uh, get dizzy when you stand up. So we wanna make sure we take a, a sort of a half step here. Let your heart catch up, sit up nice and tall. We're still in one of these resting postures, resting positions. So if you're comfortable sitting cross-legged, which I'm not, but that's why I'm working on it. Uh, sitting nice and tall on top of your butt bones. Continuing to breathe and feel that heart rate come down. And let's take two more breaths. And we're good. Okay. So thank you for joining me this morning. Hopefully, uh, remember family uh, slash kid trivia tonight at eight and then adult trivia at nine. So hopefully you guys can join us. Um, let's see, no Amy this morning. Okay. Steve, we're going to make it better for the kids. So they're going to have like, they're going to have like a lot more questions to answer. So it'll be good. All right. Sounds good. Okay, guys. Have an awesome day. Maybe we'll see you tonight. And uh, put your thinking caps on. See you soon.